Hello, and uh, welcome to the third devlog for Rogue Command, which is the real-time strategy roguelike game that we're making. Um, this week I'm just gonna quickly play, hopefully quickly, uh, play a level and uh, talk a bit more about the research system that we um, already explained the basics of uh, last week. Um, show off a bit more of the new unit that uh, we're adding to the demo soon. Yeah, and then after I finish the level, I think I'm going to wrap it up because there isn't that much stuff that is kind of uh, ready to show off uh, that we have in here. Yeah, so if you saw last week, um, this is our, our research uh, HQ here uh, where we can spend our research points to uh, research stuff. So in this case, we have a faster production upgrade, which every time we research this allows us to, who would have thought, build units quicker. And that is, of course, uh, very nice, uh, especially for the robots, which are kind of reliant on uh, having a bunch of cheap and um, spammable units. Right. Yeah, as you can see here, we have the uh, implemented uh, notification that you get now uh, so that you actually know that uh, the research is done, which is, of course, quite helpful. Right, yeah, this guy here, this is our new uh, unit. He's uh, like a... A very cheap uh, basic melee unit that we added and um, I, I really like them I think they they look kind of fun and uh, they can become quite powerful oh. that sometimes the animation doesn't trigger correctly yes I saw that before yeah that's what's supposed to look. yeah I gotta fix that um, Yeah, so you can see here now we have already uh, researched this uh, two times, you can see here. And if we uh, look at the card of our uh, clawbots now, then we can see that it only takes four seconds to build them. And you can actually uh, get it down to zero, so that um, when you have like very cheap spammable units, you can get to a point where you can kind of uh, build them almost instantaneously, which of course is, can be very powerful, um, but also means that you, of course, need the the income to uh, support that. All right. Take out this guy here. Oh, this seems to be a bit. Seems a bunch of guys over here. Gotta focus a bit here. Yeah. So, except the clawbot um, is a new melee unit. Uh, we definitely want to add some more melee units. Um, also, if you've played the demo. You probably uh, saw the robot poker that we had, uh, that we already have in there. And they're kind of, uh, they differentiate each other fairly nice, I think, because the poker has a pretty big reach. So they have like this long spear and that actually means that they can kind of hit uh, the enemy from the second row. So if you have the clawbots in front and then the poker behind, and then like even uh, range units behind that, then you have kind of a very effective, um, uh, attack line up there and yeah I, I really like that because these kinds of things um i think make the what we what we call deck building in which some people have kind of said maybe it's not really deck building but i i whatever like making a build i think is really fun in, in this game because there's so many different axes on which you can kind of uh kind of find synergies right because even like this this range stacking is, is kind of a synergy and even if you don't have like systems that's uh, uh that might look like they they go well together that is something that you can uh that you can build your deck around is kind of finding stuff that complements um each other uh, well or um or you find stuff that of course like if you have you can have a deck that's very much focused around healing that kind of stuff that also works um yeah or of course you can combine both uh ideas all right, let's put another mill here and start scouting a bit more here. This seems to be our only way in. Something that still happens a bit too often for my my taste. Um, but yeah, so with the new research system, because we have this new um, this new resource here, uh, it's gotten a bit more interesting and a bit more important to actually. Uh, scout the map because uh, you can find the research points which you need to um, research. What I thought, 
Um, wait. Does that build? That was weird. Did I just spend money without it building? Oh no! <laughs> no, they're building so so quickly that uh, they were just out instantaneously. So I was, I was kind of wondering why there was no uh, no progress bar here. It's because uh, yeah, they just plop out uh, because we we researched the build time. So I think it's it's probably a bit too cheap right now. Like the the different research branches are not uh, really balanced yet. So I think this build time uh, buff might be might be a bit overpowered right now uh, because it's fairly easy to get to the kind of the zero second build time and uh, that kind of can be under under the right circumstances can of course be a very powerful thing all right um we're in the enemy base already i don't want to do that yet i want to scout around a little bit and see if i can maybe find one of the of the new chest or another research point because I definitely don't want to miss those. Yeah, so right now it's a bit... There's just like, you know, the, the research points are just scattered around the map like um, like the chest here. Um, and while that is also kind of cool, like I, I definitely think that is a, a viable thing to have in the game. I definitely also want other stuff where it's more like tied to kind of a a secondary base of the enemy where it's a bit more of a risk reward decision if you want to engage that or not um because right now it's kind of like well of course you should just scout the whole map because otherwise you will miss stuff um which i think is i don't know it's it's a bit could be a bit problematic all right let's put a couple more factories here and then we can <laughs> oh yeah uh, the explosion here is because our guys have the uh, bombing surprise, which uh, can spawn these two little self-attacking uh, bomb creeps here. And they also have the healing rush, which uh, he makes them heal themselves whenever they have rush, which is, of course, fairly easy to get because we have the rush beacon network here that we're building out. Um, so that is, of course, also something that's nice to have because it helps them stay alive longer. Um, and also, uh, that's kind of their active ability here is that they can give themselves rush. So that, of course, synergizes nicely with the um, the rush self heal that we've given them here. Um, yeah, and rush, of course, is one of the things that's kind of um, uh, where a lot of things in the game kind of hook into. All right, that's you can see now that we have we got some money. It's it's kind of crazy how quickly you can uh, build out your army. Uh, like I said, I think it's a, a little bit too powerful right now. Um, I think it's fine. Like I definitely think it's cool if, that you were able to get to the point where building stuff uh, is instantaneously. But I think it should it should have some uh, it should be a bit of a challenge to get there. Right? Like it shouldn't be kind of a, something that you can do per default. All right. Yeah, let's finish the base here because. Um, I want to show you the the reward map and the kind of the new stuff that we that we can find on there. You guys on the way? Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, of course, if you've played StarCraft, these guys, of course, kind of uh, circling inspired. Um, but yeah, I, that is also why I enjoy them because I think just rushing with tons of disposable units is a very fun tactic to do. Reinforcement. Let's put out the rush beacon so they can get here quicker. Do we have enough research points for to do another one? No, we don't. Did we miss? Well, <laughs> just wanted to say, did we miss a pickup? Maybe, but if we did, uh, let's see. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you here, um, like kind of how we integrated the the research points and the uh, research system into this. Um, you can see here there's this new, it's just called research, I think we should name it like research branch or something. These are kind of the new research uh, projects that you can get, that you can assign in the HQ. And these are just the research points right now. It's, uh, it's a mistake here, there's, it, it should be plus three because you get three when you get to the node here. Um, 
Oh yeah, that's a unit if you probably haven't seen it. It's a course map. Um, let's go for the coins and the hack and then the research so I can show that off. Um, yeah, I think the Maximum Rush is a really nice addition to the, the claw bots here because it um, lets them run a lot faster when they have rush. And of course, uh, them being melee units, it's very important to kind of get them to the front line as quickly as possible. Um, another thing that I, uh, that you haven't seen here is they also, we also have the hack here, the re resilient melee hack, uh, which gives them a bit more HP because they're a melee unit. So yeah, that, that's kind of the build that I'm going for here with this run is uh, trying to get the a good melee deck. All right, so uh, last point for today is I'm gonna just show you how you pick the research. It's fairly similar to how all the other things work in our game, like you pick the cards, you pick the upgrades, you pick the hex, and you also are able to pick the research things. They're usually fairly simple in the description because, um, yeah, because that's all it is. Um, so right now, yeah, like I said, I think in our case here, the move speed would be a nice addition to our deck. Um, the ones that we have in here for now are mostly kind of the basic stats increases because that is kind of the function that we wanted to um, assign to this new um, to this new mechanic in the game because um, that was kind of something that wasn't in here and I think that is also something that was missing a bit is kind of having these things that you can research within a level so you can get this nice little boost of whatever like in like you saw uh, in the last level getting the the build time down so you can spam your units more quickly or uh, get kind of to a breaking point with move speed or whatever like um, I think that's really cool and um, also since uh, all the research projects at the beginning of level start at zero um you can kind of adapt to the different levels or the different enemies the different mission types um because um like for example in, in some levels it might be way more important to get more tanky so if you have an hp upgrade then you would try to go for that or if, if you can give your units shields or whatever there's tons of different things that you can do in that regard or maybe you you definitely need to rush something down then you would maybe go for the move speed like i want to hear all right yeah and then we start the next level and um yeah that's kind of what i wanted to show off, uh, for today it's basically been uh, polishing this this new system that i showed off last week um we also did a, a bunch of other stuff of course and um but that's not in a state that that i wanted to to show off yet um yeah so that's kind of it i'm, I'm really really happy with the addition of this research system i think it's a really like it's something that was kind of missing in the game and uh um we will definitely also add it to the demo i think and um yeah and i'm really excited to to hear what you guys have to say uh once you test it out um and yeah can't wait uh to to show it off and get your guys feedback on that all right that's been it um have a nice weekend if you have any questions uh, feel free to post them in the comments maybe if you have some ideas for uh cool upgrades or uh sorry cool research i gotta get my terminology right then uh, definitely feel free to post them uh in the comments here or uh post them to our discord of course which is always the the place to interact with us because that is where we uh where uh we're very active and we basically see everything that happens there yeah that's it um the game is coming along super well i think really happy with the progress that we're making and um i hope you will uh, enjoy the new additions all right have a nice weekend bye